Hey guys, it's Bantasaurus Rex here coming to you for a recap video. As you can see, our recent war we won 44 to 36. We almost had the perfect war. We're scrolling down, and there it is the unlucky 13 base which we struggled on. We did have one attack left, but everyone has a life, and these things happen sometimes. Just going to go and show you some of the replays. Let's show you number one, which was my attack. Quickly, quickly zoom out. As you can see, I drop a giant into that hole to get the CC lure to come out. And see, there was a bomb and a Tesla pops up. Take the dragon all the way to the other side and it's CC hogs. That's strange. I fast forward it as we go through the CC kill. Drop the golems coming around the side. Make a little wall breaker for the king to go through to get the queen. Probably raged it too early if I'm honest. Now a couple of wall breakers just to get us into that second compartment. Taking four heals as I got the queen pretty easy. And then come the hogs. Just a single bomb, not hit by many hogs. Come to first heal, covering a big group. Second heal covering a potential bomb spot, but there's no bomb there, which is ideal. That bottom hill could have been better, but I've got plenty of hills in the bag to keep us going. Another hill at the top, another hill at the bottom, covering that bomb potential spot at the bottom. King still almost at full health, no bombs in that space. Really bad base design if I'm honest with you, but it is what it is. In come to clean up troops at the top, and we're just going to fast forward it for this attack as clean up happens. Pretty easy base, but you still have to do the basics. Still got to heal those heals and get the queen if you're hogging. And you can see, wrap things up, and an easy free star. Let's have a look at another Town Hall 9 attack. Who have we got here? We've got Gerard. Gerard. Let's have a look at number 2. So a 4 quadrant base. Obviously but you know where the 4 testers are. Send a couple of wizards at the top. Just to clear some space. Get the funnel going. And lose this wizards pretty quick. Send in a single hole to get the CC there. Same again, you've got the dragon and you've got the two CC hogs. Not sure why they're there. Now you've got the single archer to draw the CC right to the top. In come the two golems. Breaks into the compartment. Golem to tank in. In come the CC witches, as well as the barking and the archer queen. Down goes the queen, pops the bomb. With the skellies, which is always handy, raises his king, gets a jump into the middle. Queen's still alive, king's still alive, golem's still alive, in come the hogs in the wall. They've got lots of protection from the tanking troops. You can kind of guess where the bombs are going to be after the after the first compartment. So he's got one hill ready already. Got the second heal, which he's healed in the court. There goes the bomb. Doesn't do anything because the heal's already there. Keep going through the base. Now he's got two decisions. What set of hogs does he heal? Because we know where the bombs are. Luckily, one hog triggered the bomb on its own. He then decides to heal the bigger pack towards the bottom. Probably going to miss the heal. He heal was slowly dying out. It's going to hit that bomb with a single hog, which is even better. So he didn't even need a heal in the end. Got a couple of hogs left. And I speed it up. Got three hogs for that last cannon, which is plenty. All the troops on the outside are cleaning up. Skellies are doing their work. Got witches doing their work, and the archer queen down at the bottom. Wizards in the core. As we go through, one way there. We, the queen is almost at full health, so she didn't get touched whatsoever. 
which is always good. Good to see. Good job. Let's have a look at some of our Town Hall 8 attacks. Where are we to here? Let's have a look at Mr. Grey, one of our hoggers. Let's zoom out. Funny old base design. Very old funny. She sends a single hog to get the CC lower. And also trip the bomb, which is even better. All the CC come out, a dragon come out, and a couple of archers. Hits them right to the top. Sends the poison down just to get the archers get the archers down. The dragon will, will finally go into the poison. Sends the barking down as a tank. The e storage goes down quickly. And down goes the dragon. It's a good job. Ranger just king. Just take some of the heat. Sends in CC hogs. Sends in a couple more just to help him out. And then send his main pack from the bottom. We know wizard towers are horrible for hogs as they do splash damage and hogs like to hunt in packs. He sends a couple heals over the wizard towers. Mortars aren't going to touch the aren't going to touch the hogs, so that's good. Got a bomb in with the heal. Not going to touch the hogs. Plenty of hogs left. Probably didn't need that last heal, but we always use them just in case. Plenty of hogs left. You got archers coming in the bottom for a clean up. Loads of hogs. Too many to count. And the hogs are going to do all the clean up work for him. So down goes the town hall. Hogs are working either side of the base and they eventually meet up down at the middle to get the 100% and the 3 star. Good work Mr. Grey. I'm going to show you a couple more. Lard Cow. I'll show you his attack. Dragloon attack. With the new two lightning earthquake to take out an AD. Just down goes the two lightning spell. As we all know, the, the earthquake just tops it off. So then that leaves an extra spell space for your dragons. I'm going to get his cutters in, take out the two army camps, working away into the middle. Forcing those dragons to the core. That pops the Tez there, that's fine. That's going to quickly go down. He's got four more hogs in his tank. Four more dragons, my apologies. In come the dragons. The dragons are almost into the core already. In come the CC loons. He's going to get good value for his rage. Out come the CC troops. The loons are doing all the work for us. Air Sweeper doesn't particularly do anything. There we go. One AD left. And down it goes. Now there isn't much protect in this base. A couple of archer towers towards the back end. Wizard towers aren't going to do much to the dragons. Is there a splash damage defense? Down go the, the archer towers. One archer tower left. And five dragons left. That's plenty. And obviously you've got your barb king still alive. Doing the outside work for you. Perfect funnel in base, perfect for dragons. And a great job, free star. I'll show you one last attack before we move on. Aha, Jubes. Jubes is our new ish Town Hall 8. He has max hogs for a Town Hall 8, which is always good for a low base. As you can see, sends the single hog to get the CC lower. And takes the CC troops right away over to the Bar King side. And you'll see as we go on, if you've got the poison spell, you'll get the CC taken out and you'll also get the Bar King taken out. Make sure to protect your hogs as well. There's a couple of wizards go down. Still only got level 4 wizards. As you can see, he's a new Town Hall 8. 
Spark drops the Barking, Barking the fight with the Wizards behind. Sends in another Hog at the bottom to see if there's any bombs there. Didn't trip anything. In come the main pack of Hogs, in behind the Barking. Just rage them up, give them a bit more health. CC Hogs as well. Once it gets into the main core, one heal will basically cover all those defences in the middle. Then you've only got outside defences to worry about. Just a core gone. Massive, massive pile of hogs. You can see defences going down really quick. Two heals. Probably didn't even need a second heal. And it's down already. As we go through the cleanup process. Hits, finally hits the bomb. Heals the hogs. Hits another bomb. I guess just to protect them. And it's an easy free star. Just a quick recap. As you can see, we won 44 to 36. We almost had the perfect war. But these things happen. Until our next recap video, we'll see you then.